Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Stanner here, back with another video. And today we're talking about Oyasumi Pun Pun. I know, Oyasumi fucking Pun Pun, the most depressing manga I've ever fucking read. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. Honestly, I think this manga is one of the greatest mangas I've ever seen in my life. And today, I'm gonna explain to you why I think that. So, without further ado, please like, subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into this video. The story of Oyasumi Pun Pun is really unique to me. I don't think I've ever read a manga where the story is basically like this dude just growing up and seeing their experiences throughout the life. You know, if I was two years younger when I read this, I probably would have think this was fucking boring and one of the worst mangas ever. And I think it is the first of its genre that I've read, but I think I've also read Aku no Hana, which I'm not sure is in the first, is in the same genre as Oyasumi Pun Pun. But if it is, please no one compare the two. Aku no Hana does not fucking come close to Pun Pun in any way. Pun Pun clears that shit. So can we not compare him ever again? Anyways, back to the story of Pun Pun. Pun Pun's story is just watching your main character grow up. As you watch him grow up, in the beginning, you're kind of like, what the fuck is happening? This dude has friends, you know? It's not, it's not so bad as people hype it up. But then slowly, surely, down, downward spirals happen. And you see this main character by the end of the series turn into some, like, unrecognizable, like, just being bro it's insane how the character development progression for this character has went throughout the story and it's almost like a real life in in like in a way because everyone starts out with a kid you know they start out pure and shit but then there's certain events in your life that could hit you that could change you significantly and then change you again and then change you again and Pum Pum just kind of just goes through this evolution throughout the story whenever something big happens to him which i think makes him an, an amazing mc I think his writing is great. I think he's very relatable as a character. And and yeah, man, it's honestly really sad to see like this character I started out with as a child with big aspirations, who's really naive as a child should be, grow up into the adult he was and, you know, do all the fucked up shit he did and shit. And it's kind of sad to see. Now, moving on from Pun Pun, we also have the other characters like Aiko and shit. The story basically revolves around Pun Pun and Aiko. Pun Pun falls for but this girl named Aiko. And basically, the story just revolves around them two having their little tries and trials and tribulations. I'm not going to try and spoil too much. But towards the end, the story gets really insane with the early 20s arc. The early 20s arc is probably one of the best arcs I've ever seen in fiction. It's like up there, top two, top three. Literally one of the most amazing arcs I've ever read in my life. And the thing is, I'm never going to read it again. The realism of the story is something that's heavily underlooked. And I think it's something that Oyasumi Pun Pun stands out from everything in fiction. The way the realism of this manga hits is just fucking insane. All the characters are all relatable in an aspect. Every single one of the characters, you can relate to them in an aspect. And you can relate to their goals, you can relate to their personality. You can admire some of them, but all of them aren't pure either, which makes them human. None of these people are perfect people. They all have their flaws, which makes them really real. There's nobody in real life that's fucking perfect and has zero flaws to their personality, their character, you know, everything they do, right? Which is why all these characters that are flawed, just like real life humans, and ways that real life humans are flawed, is just amazing, bro. It's literally just amazing. I think Asano does a great job in conveying emotion in these characters' faces and all the stuff that happens throughout the story with these characters and just the way it hits the reader as something real that could actually happen in our planet, in our world. You know what I'm saying? I feel like no other manga can match this level of realism. And if there is, please leave it down in the comments. I'd be happy to read it. But like, honestly, this is one thing that Pun Pun does better than everything I've ever seen in fiction, even Tokyo Ghoul. The next thing I want to talk about is the messages that this story teaches you. Specifically, the message about lust, which was absolutely fucking amazing. And I think most of these messages throughout the story really help you as a person reading the story, understand the story and the premise of the world a lot more. And since the world is so similar to our world, it's like you take the messages from that world and apply it to your own world. It's so confusing, but it's so fucking amazing. The way Asano can make these messages hit, like he make that, he made that Yuichi backstory. I'm not really going to spoil it that much in case some of you trying to read it, but that Yuichi backstory was just fucking amazing. The way Asano made Yuichi feel like a real character with real emotions and how those emotions could have crazy consequences and people in real life don't really like take in that yo these emotions are bad emotions you know what i'm saying these emotions could lead you to doing fucked up shit you know but it's like you don't really notice because it feels fucking amazing right and then yuichi almost fucked up but you know what i'm saying he got pulled out 
and it's just like it's insane how Asano could really like emphasized that message of just lust and shit like that such a small message in the story which had so much impact and I, I guess not just me but a lot of people's lives while reading this manga you know but yeah the messages in this manga are literally amazing bro like I don't think I've ever find messages other than probably Tokyo Ghoul in the manga that impact me as much as this but not pun pun has amazing messages next I want to talk about the ending of the manga I think the ending was very fucking amazing I think it was a bittersweet end which this manga totally needed I don't think in this manga needed like a really like happy ending where you know pun pun or someone like finds happiness I'm not really gonna try and spoil it or anything but I think this this ending was perfect how it really just sums up the entire journey that we just had but it doesn't give you a defined answer whether something's gonna get better or something's gonna get worse you know it kind of just it kind of just does what a story does where when it ends the story ends but you keep on living you keep on moving forward not knowing what the fuck else happened in that story because you know it's fiction it's not going to keep continuing over time it's done but we're it's kind of like in a sense where the story ends but we can't see it anymore but pun pun's story's still going on but we just can't see it you know and we'll never know what the hell happens to him you don't know if anything happened to him later on but it's just a very ending where it has a lot of questions in your head and i think that's a pretty good ending in my opinion I feel like it's one of the best it's one of the best endings I've ever seen because there's a lot of shitty endings I've seen. Um, but honestly, yeah, this ending was just peak. I think nothing else to say about Pun Pun other than just peak, but yeah, it really is one of the best mangas I've ever seen in my life. As a conclusion, it's been over a year since I read OSV Pun Pun and this manga still has opened my brain. The impact that this manga has had is unparalleled to any fiction I've ever read. Um, when I think back to this manga, I just feel fucking emptiness. But that's okay, because it's a good fucking emptiness. It's an emptiness caused by a work of fiction that I've never experienced before. I've never been so empty by a work of fiction. It's literally insanity how good this manga is. And I think everyone else should give it a try. So please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you didn't, don't fucking do it. Maybe you should maybe you should at least like leave a comment down below. Tell me if there's another manga I should try out that might be as good as Pun Pun. But yeah, have a good day. Bye guys, keep on living.